This exercise is a continuation from the previous one, but if you didn't quite get there, browse to your Chapter 17 folder and open the file Chapter 17, Adding Detail Lines. In this file, scroll down in the project browser until you come to the Power section, Sections, Level 1, Electrical 118 section. In this view, we're going to start adding some detail lines. From the Annotate tab, select Detail Line. These detail lines can be used in exactly the same way as lines in any 2D CAD program. We have line styles available to us and different types of lines, whether these are straight lines, creating rectangles, or a variety of arcs and splines. So let's start with a medium line and we'll use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle beneath the distribution boards, which we can then label as a buzz bar. We may also want to give some indication of cables running from the distribution boards to their final points. Let's start with a line. We'll change this to a wide line and simply draw from one point to the next. We can then add radius and add to our line. And another radius bend and finish up with a line. Click on Modify. As this is purely schematic, the detail doesn't have to be exceedingly accurate. I can grab these lines and stretch them, or use my arrow keys on the keyboard to nudge them into the right location. If I want to increase the number of cables running through here, I can also use the offset tool, create an offset of say 100, hover over one of the detail lines and press the tab key. This will give me the offset that I'm after. Let's do it on the other side. Select the three horizontal detail lines and nudge them up with the arrow keys. Do the same with the vertical ones. Add some annotation, so from the Annotate tab, click on Text, choose my text style, and put a note in. Cables rise to above, and if necessary, add a leader.